Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a disassembly video as well as some first impressions for you on this little guy right here. This is the Spydeco Son of the Moon Chaparral. So, um, to start with, um, this is a variant of a knife I've reviewed actually a number of times already. I've looked at the Spydeco Chaparral a few times, uh, including very early in my channel, in the titanium version, in the Chaparral lightweight version, which is one of my very favorite recommendations for everyday carry, um, in the, you know, I, I've basically, I've looked at the Chaparral a bunch. And some of you may be asking, well, Nick, why are you looking at this one? I did the Rafia Noble. Um, A, because I think the Chaparral is a great design, uh, you know, fundamentally, and so I, I it's nice to get that design some recognition, so to speak. But more importantly, I wanted to see sort of what was different here. This Sun in the Moon edition is so named because it's got these scales here. It's got the micata and such, and by the way, dead centered action is reasonably smooth, although I suspect it can be improved a little bit. Feels like it might be running a little dry. But anyways, it's got these Sun in the Moon style scales, both of which are G10, but this has what sure looks to be a mother of pearl inlay there. Um, I don't know for sure that it's not something synthetic. I'm not going to sit here and tell you exactly what it is, but it sure has that appearance of that. And I've, I've, I've seen some actual mother of pearl. I own some actual mother of pearl on, uh, on some other pieces, but still, um, it, it sure feels that way. Um, what do we have here? We have a metal backspacer, which is going to make the backlock disassembly part much easier. All right, so let's pop this open. I'm using an iFixit little spudget tool here. Um, and by the way, if you're ever curious about any of the tools I'm using for my disassemblies, go ahead and go to nickshabazz.com slash tools, and you will find uh, links to all of these various things. And uh, this is nice because it is plastic, right? It's not going to scuff anything. Good Lord, this is soaked in oil. Um, it's, uh, there's some on the pivot as well. But okay, um, this guy, for what it's worth, is factory freaking fresh. This was sent to me by Spydeco. That's right, full disclosure, sent to me by the Spydeco to check out. Um, after I requested to take, uh, take a look at one, pop that loose, and here we go. Interesting. Um, so uh, the reason I say interesting is because it actually looks like it's, I mean, I've opened it, I guess, if, Air amount. I haven't carried it particularly yet, but I think I fidgeted with it through a long Zoom meeting at one point in time, so it's something, right? Um, uh, anyways, in Rona. Um, yeah, so I, I, uh, everything looks to be reasonably worn in. We're on phosphor bronze washes here. We have a reasonably boring Spydeco backlock, which you can see exactly how it works right here. Go ahead and clean off that liner. The pivot seems fine. We do see partial liner construction here. Um, so it's not a, um, a linerless knife, which I think some people... Oops, sorry, hit the camera with my Batman mask there. Why? What is my adult life? Anyways, uh, so uh, there you go. What is my... What are all parts of my damn life? None of it's been right. Um, anyways, uh, so we've got a... Uh, yeah, got everything looking pretty straightforward here. Honestly, looks a lot like a chaperone. Part of the reason I'm doing this is just um, so that I... I don't remember whether I have a, a disassembly of a classical chaperone, right? So uh, now this is on the record. Um, let's go ahead and put down some knife pivot lube here. And I've got way too much lubrication there. But that'll serve to lubricate both the pivot and the, um, the, the, the milieu in there, so to speak. Uh, let's drop that onto here. Oh, come on. Don't fight me. I'm the human. I'll win. All right. There we go. And... Put a little there. Okay, next step is, um, uh, since I know the side of this applicator tip is covered in lube, I'll just use some of that and coat this. Chaparral is a piece that I originally panned for one very specific reason, and that is just that the, the lock bar on this guy, because the knife is so thin and the stock is so thin, the lock bar isn't the most comfortable thing ever to release. Um, and that that's true, um, and it remains an issue. I see that they have actually put a little chamfer onto the sides of the lock bar there, which is very helpful toward that. Um, but it's a model that I initially sort of dismissed in part because of that, but also... Um, I don't know. I, I think that was a knife that or, or, it was relatively early on in my reviewing when that first came onto the table for me, so to speak. Um, hold on. I got to get this popped in. There we go. It's popped in place. Uh, do I, have I left anything out? 
You know, it's a simple knife to disassemble, so that's why it's going quickly. I can deal with that. Um, but anyways, uh, but I've come to appreciate more and more over time, and the biggest reason for that is the thin blade stock. This is a thin and slicey knife par excellence. And so for somebody like myself, who is not doing super hard use cutting um, on a regular basis, uh, this kind of thing is just amazing. And it's also a very nice size. It's not a particularly large knife. Is this secretly T10? No? It might be like T9. It just feels a little big for T8. Yeah. Well, it's working. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and just put in the pivot real quick. Just that way that ain't falling out and going anywhere. Not super tightening there. Uh, okay, next step is going to be... We'll do these. Bed. No, certainly these are D10. Ooh. But yeah, so as a result, though, I, I like the Chaparral a lot more than I initially liked the Chaparral. It's hard. It, one of the downsides, and this is completely unrelated to this current knife, but one of the downsides to running a YouTube channel, whoops. So what I just, the reason I just said whoops there is that I used, I lay out my screws. I have at the very top here, uh, you know, I'll put the, the screws in the order they came off the knife. And so I just put the screw that was supposed to go, that came from there, into there. I don't actually believe that to be a problem. Uh, I, I would be surprised if these were two differently sized screws. However, I would rather just fix it um, in case it is a problem, in case one of them is subtly shorter or longer in a, a meaningful way. I'd rather just that not be an issue, right? Um, and so, yeah... There's that. But anyways, one of the downsides of running a channel like this is it's very difficult. It, well, it's just as easy to change your mind as uh, for anybody. But more importantly, um, you know, as you are changing your mind, uh, you know, everyone, since your old reviews remain up in most cases, um, although I'll take them down if I say something really boneheaded, right? Um, but he, he, people, oh my God, you said X and now you say Y. What gives? Are you lying? Like, no, I'm the omen. We have a right to change. In fact, we have an obligation to change our minds. Changing your mind doesn't make you weak. It makes you strong. You're not forced to think the dumb stuff you thought yesterday again today, right? Um, there were so many papers in the psychological literature about the bias against changing one's own mind. But oh boy, is it useful to do. Anyways, I digress. So the Chaparral, though, is a knife that originally I didn't particularly love, but now I've come to really appreciate. And I appreciate this. Speaking of that, um, and I, we're all set here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply a little bit more pivot lube to the very back of this guy. Um, and that will just distribute itself along the back of the knife there and um, just smooth out that back lock action a little bit. Where's... We have no blade play here. I'm going to see if I can't loosen the pivot just a little hair. See if that does me any good. No play. Still no play. Can I go a little further loosened? The reason I, I just... I tend to like an action. Okay. There we go. I think part of this is just going to be wearing the knife in a little bit, you know, getting everything working on the... So. Because very often... There we go. As you use these more, they smooth out over time. That's the joy of phosphor bronze, is it tends to get better over time rather than worse. But anyways, um, let's go into the... Uh, the... What was that sound? Eh, I'm thinking I need to tighten that back up a little bit. The reason I say that is I'm getting a little bit more scraping against the side of the knife. There we go. That's a little better. All right. Yeah. And then it'll smooth out with time. Beautiful. Um, but speaking of changing your mind, um, one thing that actually I, I've noticed over the last... Uh, this has been on my table sort of casually for a week or so thereabouts. Anyways, I, um, the, uh, th th this guy, when I first got it, I was kind of a little bit like, uh, 
okay, I don't know. Um, but I've come to appreciate it a little bit more over time. The one thing that's, uh, you know, look, it's a chaparral, right? So it's going to cut well. The ergonomics are great. It, it, it is, it's got all the good stuff of a chaparral here. The question is whether it's something that's more interesting to you than the original, for instance, carbon fiber, etc. cetera. Um, and part of that comes down to the design. Uh, you don't really see from pictures that this isn't the white dot, but it really isn't. Like I said, this is a piece of something that sure feels like the actual Mother of Freakin' Pearl over here, which is a lot like Mother of Pearl. It's just a little bit freakier. I don't know. I, anyways, so you see here that you've got this, a, a nice material in there, and then you've got this contrasting little bit of... Uh, Although it's weird that you've got the, this Japanese flag motif on a Taiwanese-made knife, but whatever, it works. Um, but anyways, the sun and the moon is sort of the, the, this flip-flop approach. One thing I would actually, although I, I kind of go back and forth on this, for, from a practical perspective, it might have actually been nice to have this uh, flip-flop so that the, the moon is on the clip side. That would make the knife carry a little bit more subtly, although again, it's a, it's a deep carry sort of well, deep-ish carry clip, so it's not a big deal, but the, there is that, and I do see the advantage of having the Mother of Pearl on the show side. But aside from that, um, it, it is 100% a chaparral. Um, if we put this guy up next to the, uh, or on a scale, that is, and while that starts up, let me grab my regular chaparral lightweight, um, and we can just get a sense of what the differences are. Um, we can see that this guy comes in at 2.31 ounces as opposed to... 2.07 ounces. The difference is not huge, and in both cases, we are well under, because this is a chaparral, we are well under an ounce an inch. So both of these are very lightweight knives, and, and so this doesn't come across as feeling super heavy. It feels maybe a little bit more dense than the original, um, but uh, I'm sorry, than the lightweight version. The original is a, a, a different matter entirely. Um, but nonetheless, yeah, so uh, I guess the big question for me, and I, I make a point not to learn the price until late in my review process, so I can't actually speak to the price at the moment, but uh, my overall impression is actually good and getting better. I, I'm liking this design. I'm liking this aesthetic a little bit more as things go, uh, as time goes on. So I spend more time with the knife, I, uh, but we'll see how that ends up settling out in the grand scheme of things. Um, you know, certainly if you're looking for value, you're probably still going to want to go with a lightweight, but I can see this being a version of this knife that a lot of people find really interesting, really classy, and frankly, a little bit different, um, aesthetically speaking, than a lot of what's out there. So uh, there we go. That was your disassembly and maintenance. Nice and easy. And I hope this is interesting to you. Have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.